G'day and what's up everyone? Now I've had quite a few requests regarding how I modified Zeus to look the way it does. Now this is a uh, modified O1 shaders from his development files. As you can see the clouds have been fixed. And we'll get straight into it showing you exactly how to modify it so you can get it looking just like this. Alright, so firstly what you'll need to do is go into SugarSync and download this one here, lots of new stuff and you're also going to need is N1 shader, this one here alright so once you've downloaded those two the very first thing we're going to do is grab these files here and paste them into here. Once we've done that, we'll open up Notepad and we're going to have to copy these ones over here, so these are the files we're going to be modifying. And what? Now I've also included a text document which I recommend open up in Notepad++ which will give you all the changes that you'll need to do to get looking the way I have. The very first one you'll need to do is get rid of that at line 25 which will enable stuff shadows. The next one will be at 887 this one here, I want to remove at 5 Next one, we're going to copy all this code here to there, so control C, and we're going to replace it over top of that section there. Alright, next one is at line 933, that one there. Alright, change that from 10 to 5. Alright, we're going to go down to line 1158. Which is here. Now this is going to fix it so you don't get the fog inside your homes when it's raining. So we're going to copy that bit there, control C. And replace it over the top of that one. Now, the next one is right down the bottom and remove that. Now if you like the atmospheric fog, like the blue like fog, you can remove these two lines here which will enable it. I personally don't like it so I'm going to leave that out. And the last thing that you'll need to do is copy this line of code here and replace it over this one. Now what that does is fix the pixelation in the clouds makes them look all nice and smooth. And that's it for that one, so we're going to go save now we move on to the next one. Right, so we're going to go down to line 274 and we're going to change that to 2. That's the reflection on the water gives it bigger range. Now we go down to line 331. This one here. And we want to change that to just one. Not sure why but it tends to work a lot better if you do that. Now we're going to go down to line 527. down to here, copy this piece and replace it with that one there. Now what that does is help change the colour of the water, believe it or not. And last thing in 
this one is remove those. Save, move on to the next one. All right, now we need to go down to line 56. And we need to copy that bit of code there and just replace it over the top of that one. So control C, then control V. Now, if you have a look, what this next thing is going to do is get rid of this extra bloom from the sun. So instead of it looking like this where it sort of blurs out and looks, in my opinion, pretty awful, it will end up looking like this. If you prefer it like that, don't change this next thing. Right, to get rid of that, just add two lines to this line here. And the other last thing that we need to do is copy that line and replace it over this one. If you don't do that, you end up with just a white screen. Right, save. Now, to change the water. We need to go down to line 82. We need to change this to 20 and the bottom one to 14. Adds a bit more ripples to the water. Alright, next one is 96. We want to change this just to 1, like so. Now line 119. Just copy this bit of code and replace it over top of that one. And line 122 is here. Copy this bit of code and replace it over that one. And that changes all your colors of the water. So I think that's purple, uh, blue I think, and red I'm guessing. Not 100% sure. All right, save that. On to the last bit. We want to get rid of this, this is to make it wavy. All right. Now, we need to delete this bit of code. And we want to copy all this right down to the bottom, just out of there. So control C in here, make sure your cursor is right up to the edge, and control V. And save. And that's it. You're all ready to go. Alright, once you're back in Minecraft, you can go and select your world. And now, you should have it looking like this. With all the clouds nicely fixed. The newly changed water with the nice reflection of the clouds and that. By the way, this is uh, Korma Hills Texture Pack. Highly recommended. I have uh, modified it personally for this shader. So it has better specular effects to it. As you're about to see. And you'll notice when you go inside, no longer all foggy. This is a better view of the water, as it should look. Unless, of course, you're using a different texture pack. Different texture packs will give you slightly different coloured water. And of a night time, 
if you've uh, used O1 shaders before, you'll get this really dark light blue effect in the sky. It looks terrible. It's all being fixed now. And there you have it. Hopefully you enjoy it. And uh, just leave comments below if you have any problems or just general feedback, it would be much appreciated. Also on a last note, as you can see here, the water now weighs up and down. It's not perfect and it's not my code. Uh, it's the only code I was actually able to find that kind of works. Um, I've got no idea where I got it from. I'm personally not a coder. So all the code that I've changed that is either grabbed from Sonic Ether shaders or like with the waving water, I can't remember where I got that one from. Might have been from one of, one of his older shaders. Uh, if anyone knows how to tweak this a bit better so the waves don't actually break above the adjacent blocks. I would love to know. Just leave a comment down below. And one last thing. This is just showing the differences between my modified version of O1 and Preview 10.1. As you can see, it's not a huge amount of difference. 10.1 does have darker colours, but the differences aren't overly major. Uh, of a night or when it's raining, it is a lot foggier, but as you can see down here, the specular is almost non existent in 10.1 as opposed to the modified version that I've done. This is of night time. That's 10.1, that's the modified. The sky is a bit brighter in mine, but what can you do? That's the last shot of the sun. This is showing you the specular. As you can see, it's more only visible on the edges. 10.1, mine is all the way through. Unfortunately, though, I wasn't able to achieve this level of quality on the inside when it's raining, as opposed to my modified. It is a lot clearer in 10.1. Unfortunately, I could not fix that to make it any better than what it looks there. Thanks all for watching. Bye bye.